Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are at step two, and we're going to speak about lead magnets. Okay, so a lead magnet. What is it anyway? What is a lead magnet? In the simplest form, remember those three words, keep it simple. A lead magnet is like bait. Okay, that's what it is it's in its simplest form. So basically, we're creating something that is making our customers feel we're going to woo them in somehow. What is that? Like, what? how can we do that? According to your brand, you're the one that has to be the case. So you're a business owner. So you're the one that's going to be creative in what it is that I have to offer, but I want to set myself apart and I want to market myself different. So a lead magnet is that first thing that your potential customer or your audience will see that will attract them to you. There are different forms of it. Um, Sandra's going to break down some and I'll just give an overview. Um, but the purpose of it is the purpose is to gather information from people who would like to do business with you, who would like to learn more about your product or service, who would like to um, learn more about what you're doing. OK, so it depends on the nature of your business. So there are two questions that we've just answered. What is a lead magnet and what's the purpose of it? So now let's get into the Sandra's going to take it from here, but let's get into what does that look like exactly? What examples could we use? And it's not just um, a, a, a product or a service. There's, it's, it has to do with content. Like it has to do with delivering stuff that will answer questions for people for free that attracts them to your business. And then once they get there, they're thinking like this. If I got all this information for free and I just met this person, then how much more do they have in their content vault or in their business that can help me with that particular product or service? So Sandra, you want to go and take it from there and expand? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And okay. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I created my lead magnet and how I uploaded it to ClickFunnels to, um, to share it with people. So I started in Word, simple Microsoft Word. I had someone on Fiverr create this um, image for me, and then all I did was start typing out my ebook to tell my story about what was important to me and what I wanted my prospects to know. So for you, you would um, you can have someone create the photo for you on Fiverr or you can create it yourself. You're gonna to wanna to write about something that's important to your prospects, something that you know something about or something that you've learned about in your industry that you think can help someone else. So that is what you can use as your bait to um, get, you want to give something in exchange for their email address. So you want to hook them with your lead magnet to get the email address to add to your autoresponder list to follow the process. So all I did was type this up in Word. Then you can save it as a PDF. Once you save it as a PDF, which I'm not going to do again because I already have it, um, then it's in the format that you need to upload it into ClickFunnels to give it away. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can take it and hire someone on Fiverr to make it look professional, professional fonts, and add pictures. It's, it's really a cost-effective way of getting your ebook done. And one other alternative you have is if you find an ebook that you really, really like and you can't think of it to write on your own, you can rewrite the content. As long as you rewrite the content with your own words, and I'll hire someone even on Fiverr to rewrite it for you. There's no reason why you cannot start creating your own ebooks to give to people as lead magnets. Don't don't let it, don't let any your fear of writing stop you because you can rewrite other content and make it your own ebook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into ClickFunnels and I'm going to show you how I uploaded that. And once I have it saved as a PDF, I go into my ClickFunnels account hover over account, and then go to digital assets. From there, you can see that I have already uploaded some eBooks, but I'm gonna click on add new asset. It gives you a 
chance to name it. In your case, well, I'm going to keep the theme that was in the other um, lessons. It was a chocolate cake recipe. So I'm going to call this one my chocolate cake recipe. And then I'm going to click on browse. This will take me to my computer where I can upload my ebook. Now, I'm not going to re upload my ebook, but I just have to choose it from my PDF. So, see if it, for instance, there's one there. So, I could do open and then create a digital asset. I'm not going to create it right now, but that's just to show you how easy it is. That will load it into your digital assets. And as I showed you earlier, when you are in your funnel, you can click on your digital assets and it will be there because this is um, what we just created for you. Um, so that's all you have to do. Upload your digital. It's really easy. So that's if you want to do an ebook. There are other um, lead magnets that you could make. It could be. Um, uh, an image with information on it. I'm going to show you Canva. This is where I create all of my um, marketing images, and you can create your um, lead magnets here. If we go to the home page, can Sandra, can we pause right here yeah. for one second? Uh -huh. I just want to interject two things before mm -hmm. we get into this awesome software. There yeah. are three. These are three, this is the third resource that Sandra has mis mentioned. So to backtrack, we, we spoke about Fiverr. Mm -hmm. Fiverr is a site, and the reason why it's Fiverr, for those of you that don't know, is because when Fiverr originated, everything, every job um, posting that you list on there, the majority of them are like five bucks, okay? Mm -hmm. Like five dollars, literally. And depending on the um, stock image that you may need or different files that you need it saved in, some designers on there may charge you an additional five dollars or what have you. But I can tell you Fiverr is a wonderful resource for you to go on to um, get I mean, content recreated, pictures, images, and it starts at five dollars. So that website is F-I-B-E, like five, R-R, and it's Fiverr.com. Okay? The other one that you can go and get content recreated and developed and designed for you is Upwork. Upwork is another uh, resource that Sandra and I use. Phenomenal uh, um, freelancers on there that we've connected with. And then this third one is Canva. So keep in mind that we're giving you everything that we use. And we also connected with a lot of um, freelancers that are from around the world that we use on a daily basis that we've developed a personal relationship with where they do a lot of our work and content creating, or we submit the content, but they design or some things like that. So there are tons of ways to do um, a lead magnet. So don't let Sandra's beautiful ebook scare you. I mean, it took some time for her to develop that, but there are some fun pages that you can do for my business. Um, for an example, for my beauty brand, I use five tips on how to maintain healthy hair. I give them that as a free resource, and then from there, redirects them to my website and my brand on that particular product. So there are tons of ways to do it, and it doesn't have to be a lot of content. But again, we're giving you a very variation of different things that you can do. So take it away with this Canva, Sandra. Yeah. Um, as as Min Misty mentioned, one of the lead magnets she gives out is to tell people about five tips to keeping healthy hair. Well, one of the ways you could do that if you want to give them um, tips, if you'll see in here, you have choices, Facebook posts, social media, Facebook covers, and this is all easy for you to create on your own. Um, we are going to go down to documents and we're going to click A4. In A4, you will see all these beautiful layouts that these are all pre-made for you, and all you have to do is customize them. There are some that are not free that um, would require you to purchase them, but there's no reason for you to you know, pay or upgrade because there's a lot of great content in this free program. So you can pick any of these, and uh, let's see. Well, it could even be something like this. Like a newsletter. That one's nice and clean right there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there you Sandra, go. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
Are you having problems hearing me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here you go. No, yeah, but it's fine. Here's a great way to create your own lead magnet. Choose one of these templates. You can personalize all of this. As you can see, as I hover it over top and click on it, um, it gives me a way of changing the words. So in Misty's situation, she wants to give her customers five tips to great hair. So as you can see, it's simple to quickly um, customize this and have really, really professional looking lead magnet. Um, you can write about it here, you can create more titles, you can put links to other products. Canva is, has a wealth of um, templates that you can use to promote your business. So that's just another way that you can create um, a lead magnet. Anything that you can give them that will be bait for them to give you their email address. That's all you're looking for. Last thing I want to mention, keep in mind that with this as well as bitly in the last video we mentioned you can create a free account okay and a free account means you can do all that you need to do to get started but like with bitly if you when you get into analytics and how many people clicked your your link and things of that nature you're gonna want to upgrade but the same with canva right now don't worry about it take advantage of, of as much free stuff that you can use to get your business up and going so that's it. I mean, now we are, Sandra, I mean, we should be excited for them because we are like almost 50% done yes. of showing you how to expand your business. The next step is going to be email automation. Okay. Yes. Then the last would be Facebook. And then the, the, the very last is we're going to show you from beginning to end how everything that we're explaining, how this whole process is automated for you and your business. How about that? Yes. So hopefully you'll be able to connect the dots, even with what we've given you so far, to see how you can be growing your own list and audience. And in doing it the right way, the way we're teaching you, you're going to have targeted followers who are following you because they're interested in what you have to offer versus doing solo ads and paying for traffic, cheap traffic. You could have a, a million opt-ins and not get one sale. Don't be disappointed when you're throwing money out there on cheap traffic and you're not getting any results. It has nothing to do, it doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It just means the traffic is bad. So yeah. the quality of traffic is much more important than the quantity. And if you do it the way we're teaching you, you will start to build your list one by one. They're going to start, opt, start opting into your list because they're going to want what you have to offer them. And if you can do that consistently and persistently, your list will be growing every day. And that's what you want. It's all in digital marketing. It's changed. From, from from paper, tradition, door-to-door, -door, newspaper, mailings, it's changed. And this is where we're going to get you to set up and automate your business. So I'm excited. This excites us. So yeah. until the next video, um, yeah. have some guys. congratulations, and we'll see you in step three. Okay. See you soon.